and welcome. This is Jared from Blue House on the Hill. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, my wife and I were leaving for work the other morning and she called me and said, hey, your taillight's out. So I stopped at the auto parts store after work, um, went to the counter like you normally would, gave him my um, year, make, model. I have a 2021 Ram 1500. And he said, all right, your part number is for the taillight is 7440. So went and got the 7440, came back here last night and took off the whole taillight, took the old bulb out right here. And for some reason, um, the one that I have was too big. So I looked at the old bulb and it actually was 7443. So I am back today i went to the part store again um, got the right one and i wanted to document this and show you guys and i'm wondering if maybe the 7440 is goes to a different part of the taillight because there's the reverse light there's the blinker and the flashers that's beneath the the brake light um so we'll see so parts needed for this are obviously you're going to need the correct bulbs. Um, here's the old ones. We'll put those aside. I'll save these just in case for some reason they do go along to another part of the, the taillight. I'm, I'm going to pull that out and see. Um, you're going to need a pair of pliers and a screw. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, and you're going to need a screwdriver with the star bit. And that's going to fit into these little nuts right there. Um, and then you're going to want a pair of gloves. These bulbs are not supposed to be touched by your hands. There's oil on your hands that can, I guess, strongly deteriorate the performance of the bulb. All right, so last night I obviously took this apart and if someone could please tell me why these little rubber things right here are so hard to get out. They're more intact over here because I haven't done this side yet. I essentially have to take this screw. I'm gonna get a Phillips. Put it in here, screw it in a little bit. And then take my pliers and pull it out. It's a, it's like a little tube that goes in. I don't know why. And then once you do that, the rest of the plug comes out. So, and you can see that that Initial tube expands the plug in there. So I don't know if these are meant to only be like used once and then when you replace it, you take it out. I don't know. So we'll go, you go ahead and take that off there. Take the star bit off down here. And then you want to um, take the, this off the tailgate because the other two are behind there. All right, and you only want to do one side at a time, otherwise your tailgate's gonna completely sag down. Like I said, this is a huge pain. Um, I don't know, I like, I don't want to not put them back on there because clearly this is gonna keep like water and stuff out. And do the other one. It already pushed in, so let's pull it out slowly so we don't lose it. There it is. Take that off. That comes out. And then we'll bring our star bit back and get this here. Okay. Take the tail light off. And it just comes out with these two plugs here that fit in these two holes. So here's the top receiver. To take these receivers off, you just twist to the left and pull out. And there's no light in there because that's where the one is that wouldn't fit last night. So here, the middle one is the reverse light. Down here is the blinker and flasher light. So I'm curious to see what that bulb number is. So I'm gonna take that out real quick. 
and what is that? It doesn't even say, and it's a different color. All right, 7440. Okay, so that is what those bulbs were for. So, so the software was correct um, in the sense that the truck does take a 7440 bulb, but it didn't tell me that there was another other type of bulbs that it takes. So once again, lesson learned, just make sure you take a few minutes before you go to the store to check to make sure exactly which bulb you need. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon too. I'll drop the link down there. Now we're gonna grab a glove and our new lights here. And you just slide the light into this receiver and it clicks. And then, like I said, you wanna put it in here and then since we turned it left we'll turn it back to the right until that clicks and let's go ahead and see if this does work I have my keys in my pocket and there it is it lights right up so perfect um, so to put it back in these two knobs right here go in these holes put those in first we'll go ahead and start with the star bits ahead and put these silly things back in. Um, I'll probably try to find where I can get some new ones um, because it's not ideal. Just kind of. Yeah, I'd love to know if any of you guys have experienced this as well or maybe I just don't understand. We'll go ahead and do the other light um, just to do it. There's a good chance that that bulb's gonna go bad as well. That one stayed intact much better. Um, I guess that's just the way to go. I did not try it like that the first time, so. Finally. So, go ahead and take the old bulb out again. that out of there all right that's all there is to it um, I don't know if you noticed the those plastic plugs they they work a lot easier after I don't destroy them first trying to figure out how in the heck to get them off so um, maybe the screw is the right way to do it I don't know if there's an official tool please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please subscribe in the bottom right hand corner there and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time